Well, good evening, everybody. It's good again to be here. I really mean that. I know I say that all the time, but I really do. Very happy. Uh, I guess I'm happy at the fact that there's over 11,900 visitors that has come to the channel, and I just hope that there was something that was said in sincerity that would cause people to just thank God. It's very humbling. Um, I don't know of many um, YouTube sites that gives your phone number and websites that you're not doing it to promote your website. You're doing it to promote the fact that if someone needs to chat and needs a talk that you make your number available I know that that's not the way it is on a lot of channels is that you can't find a phone number to call nobody but I, I'm grateful and thankful that the Lord has given me this kind of uh, media to be able to reach out to I didn't do this too much when we had the nursing home ministry going, but due to the virus, and there is a few people in the nursing home that watches the videos, and I'm grateful and thankful for that. I'm looking at a verse tonight in the book of Romans chapter 1. And the verse is number 16. Now, this is a verse that a lot of people knows this verse. But I'm happy to use this verse because I believe that this verse applies to my life personally. Uh, it's one thing to speak on behalf of the ministry, but I'm speaking on behalf of me because really the the reason I do the ministry is to be a witness for the Lord and to spread his word throughout whoever listens. And I have no clue of who them 11,900 people are that has come to the page and clicked on the video. But in verse 16, Paul says this, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Now, Paul said that. But I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Well, somebody might go and say, well, Brother Ken, what are you talking about? What are you talking about uh, not being ashamed of the gospel? Well, the gospel of Christ is a few things. The gospel, in a nutshell, is the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. On my Facebook page, I had just posted a picture of the symbolic um, nature of Jesus Christ. It's a picture of him being beaten and bruised and battered and got the crown of thorns on his head. Um, I'm sure that he looked way more horrible than that photo ever thought about looking. But Paul said here, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. The gospel is the death of Jesus. But you first of all have to believe that he lived. And that he lived for... 33 years, give or take a little bit. He did miracles. He came from God. He was perfect when he came from God. The people hated him. The people despised him. And ultimately, the people killed him. But it was God's will that he come to earth. And he took upon him the cross. He knew he was going to have to face that cross. 
when he was little, when he was in the town of Jerusalem, he saw the hill where they did uh, killings on the cross. That was not something that was new to him. He knew that some 20 years after his 12th birthday that he would end up walking up that hill to get to that cross that he would carry that cross. Well, that's part of the gospel that I'm telling you about. They killed him. They put him to death. And God raised him from the dead. Romans 10 and verse 9 tells you that God raised him from the dead. And that he's no longer in the tomb. See, he was buried. That's part of the gospel, that he was buried in the tomb. But he didn't stay dead because God raised him from the dead. And he rose again. And he's alive today. He's alive in heaven today. We don't get to see him in the natural body like they did 2,000 years ago. But we're going to see him in a glorified body because he has a glorified body today. He's not going to be wearing the crown of thorns when we get to that place called heaven. He's going to be on the throne just like his father is on the throne. I'm looking forward to that day. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. I want to make that very clear right now. I'm not ashamed of it. There's a lot of things I do wrong, but I'm not ashamed of what he did for me. His love that he has for me, I'm not ashamed of it. For it is the power of God. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. To the Jew first, and also to the Greek. See, it was meant for the Jew, but it was also meant for the Greek. It was meant to the religious. It was meant for the Gentile. Because God was being a fair God to everybody. See, this man, Paul, was raised up in religion. And God got his attention. And you know, that's what God's wanting to do today. He's wanting to get people's attention as well. He said, for it is the power of God unto salvation. Talking about the gospel of Christ is salvation. Salvation is what allows you to go to heaven. Without salvation, you won't get to heaven. Without salvation, you won't be invited. Now, you have been invited today, but on that day when he returns, which I believe is very soon, he's giving you a grand invitation today. But on that day, the invitations is going to not be anymore because he's going to come get his church, the ones that believe in him, the ones that is not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it, the gospel of Christ, is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. If you don't believe that, go over to John 5 and verse 24, and you will see the two things that John tells you that you have to do to go to heaven. You, first of all, have to hear the gospel. I have just explained the gospel in telling you out there in, in Facebook land and YouTube land that the gospel is the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus Christ. That is the gospel. And what you have to do is you, first of all, have to hear the gospel. 
that has to enter into your ear and it has to get inside you and it has to mean something when it enters into you because when he enters into you, he changes you like that. The gospel turns a person into somebody that is meditating and thinking about God all the time. That's what God does when he gives salvation. If your meditation is not on the Lord most of the time, then I would probably wonder if you ever got salvation in the first place. That's just my opinion, which it may, which it may not mean anything. But Paul was saying here in these words, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. He let it be known right here. I'm not ashamed of him. No, I'm not ashamed of him. If you go over there in the book of Acts, chapter 9, you'll see where he even asked the Lord, Lord, what do you want me to do? He had a salvation experience when he said, Lord, what would you have me to do? And the Lord told him what to do. Get up and go into a town, and there's going to be somebody that's going to pray for you. He had a life-changing experience. And that's what the Lord's job is today, is to give a life-changing experience. Many just like to be called a Christian because it's just the right thing to do is, oh, I'm a Christian. No, Paul said here, I'm not ashamed. If all the Christians would get on Facebook and get on YouTube, if they had the opportunity to do it, I think that you'd be crazy not to admit that you're not ashamed of the gospel. But many people won't do it. Preachers won't do it. Very few preachers get on here and make any kind of claim about the Christ they say they know, but they talk about him on Sunday. They talk about him on Sunday. Let me say this. I'm not saying this to brag in any way. I'm not saying it for that. I'm saying it because it's true. I usually try to bring a video about every 24 hours. I want to post something within 24 hours, and I want to do it on an everyday basis. And if I could get away with doing it twice in a 24-hour period, I'd do it. Because I don't have anything better to talk about other than something that I believe is going to be forever. I believe that every time I come out here, there's going to be a reward that the Lord is going to recognize me for. Now, am I doing it for the reward? No, I'm doing it because of his love. I'm doing it because of the love he had for me, that he forgave me from years of being religious. But see, many people don't want to say nothing. Oh, they'll say something when you're in the church with them on Sunday. But what about putting it over the air? That's the reason that the church is in the condition that it is. We get loud mouth people in here instead of people that just come in here and just take one minute and say, you know what? I love the Lord. I'm thankful for the Lord's mercy and grace. Many people don't want to say that. I don't know why. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just Maybe it's just me. But I'm not ashamed of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation. See, salvation came to me. And I'm grateful for that. I didn't deserve it. I can't sit here and, and try to figure it out other than the fact that I got tired of being tired I got I just got tired of of being tired of not knowing. 
I'm glad that he came to the Jew first, but he also came to the Greek. That's where I come in. He allowed me to have time. You know what? He's given more time to a lot of other people too. I hope that you're not ashamed of the gospel. I hope the gospel has done something in you. If I can help you in any way, I always sign off with my website. I don't do it to promote it. I do it because there's things there that is totally free. It is videos that is there that encourages. There's music that is there that encourages. There's the verse of the day that is there to encourage you. There's um, mission statements that are there to encourage you. There's testimonies that is there for your encouragement. There's nothing for sale on the page at all. I publish my phone number. I publish my phone number even over YouTube. If you look up at the uploads, you'll see where I furnish my number. I tell people to call me, leave me a message. I enjoy talking to people. Total strangers. I've never met one that I can't talk to. Elderly Ministry is the name of the website. You're welcome to call. Just leave a message, and I will return your call. I appreciate this time. I hope that you are not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. I hope that you know him today. Thank you all for listening.